Hi, my wonderful Virgos. This is your next 72 hour psychic predictions. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. All right, this reading is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. All right, let's see. <laughs> What's going on with Virgo? What's going on? I laughed, I stopped for a minute because some of you have someone that's been lying on you. Um, like they're a big stupid liar, I don't know why. <laughs> um, why they're doing this, who knows, but we do have someone who is lying. Okay, let's see. What's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising in the next 72? Okay, we have Romantic Thoughts in Reverse. And we have the Breaking Point in Reverse. Okay, and then we have, for your obstacle, there we go, we have toxic family, and then we have behind the scenes, okay, and what is Virgo's blessing? Thank you. Mm. Okay, clarification. All right, and what is Virgo's advice for the next 72? We have thoughts right here. Lord, let me put some lotion on my hands. I feel like my lotion, my hands look dry. Give me just a second about the pool. Some oil from my drawer, because I feel like my hands are dry. I know that's random, but it's driving me crazy. Okay. All right, let me see. Let me stare at these for just a second. All right, Virgo. So what I'm getting right here is this is very interesting. Um, what I'm getting is there was someone who was having romantic thoughts about you and it was getting to the breaking point. So I feel like this person is basically releasing their like obsession or romantic thoughts about you. Um, I'm getting something to do with my head. Like it was in their, it's like it was driving them crazy in their head. I'm getting like a weird feeling in my head and then I'm, they're directing me to the brain. There's something to do with that where they're kind of having to change it and not have romantic thoughts about you because they started becoming like obsessed with you virgo you may know who this is you may not um only i'm also getting that this person may be on the spectrum in some way um someone they may be on the spectrum in some way i'm getting um on the other side on, on the other side of the coin i'm getting virgo it may be you basically not having romantic thoughts or something to do yeah yeah romantic thoughts about someone and you're like you know what I'm not going to have these thoughts anymore um or romanticizing something Virgo because that's what they're telling me Virgo for some of you you may have been romanticizing something um and it's gotten to the point where you started obsessing about it and you're not going to do it anymore. Whatever this is, it's like something about you romanticizing something. It could be something or someone on the other side of the coin, okay? Take it as it resonates, which, scenar which scenario resonates with you. Um, but I feel like you are changing your thoughts because it was getting to the point where it may have been like driving you a little crazy. Um, so you're releasing that. So that's a good thing. I'm getting right here for your obstacle. We have the toxic family. The family dynamic is toxic and we have behind the scenes here. So your obstacle is there could be your family, Virgo. It could be your family that's going through some type of drama um, and they may be trying to pull you in, I'm getting, because um, there's stuff going on behind closed doors. Even though this says behind the scenes, I'm getting behind closed doors behind closed doors but behind the scenes can be the same thing um but this is what i'm picking up on and you may be hearing about this drama and they be trying to pull you in like what do you think about this and it's best to kind of just you know move remove yourself from that because you don't want them draining your energy all right i'm also getting right here with the guarded 
and the childish because this is actually what your blessing is going to be. Your blessing is actually coming, Virgo, in the form of you protecting yourself. Um, by you being guarded from childish behavior, because I do see someone probably coming in um, or people just acting childish, even with this toxic family, it could be like a family member being childish trying to pull you in. Um, by you guarding yourself, you're able to protect your energy, okay? So continue to guard yourself from, you know, childish behavior um, and things over that, protecting your heart, protecting yourself, your energy. Don't get pulled into that. Now, for your, I'm also getting something about a scent, a new fragrance. For some of you, you may be drawn to a new fragrance within the next 72 hours. Um, what I'm getting, and I don't know why I'm getting Brass Monkey. I don't know, someone might be listening to that song, Brass Monkey, the Funky Monkey. Or maybe there's something to do with a monkey video or something to do with like a monkey or something like that. All right. For your advice, it says keep your thoughts positive. Move past your limiting beliefs and shift your energy to raise your vibration, all right? That is your advice for the next 72. Let me pull some more things that are going to be happening. What else is going to be happening with my Virgo? My wonderful Virgos. We have news. The flying bird. There's going to be some news that's going to come in. Family affairs. And we have the stork here. For some of you, you're going to get news that someone's about to have a baby, I'm getting. There could be news about someone having a baby. Um, for others of you, there's like some news that's going to come in, some news that you've been waiting for. I'm also seeing there's some type of affair with family, affairs with family. And it's funny because we have toxic family. So I feel like <laughs> for some of you, it might be some like family drama. Um... For others of you, I'm just getting some something to do with your family. Um, I'm also getting like the family tree. This could be like distant relatives as well. But there's something, some type of affair that's doing with family, family business I'm getting. And then we have the stork here. It says news of a birth or a business opportunity. So you guys are going to be hearing about a business opportunity, all right? Um, I already said for some of you, you're going to probably hear about a birth of a child or something like that. But I do see a new business opportunity. All right. Let's see. We pull all your channel messages and we will be done. Okay. Just a second. All right. One fell on the floor. Okay, they're saying don't discourage so quickly, all right? Consider it an opportunity, Virgo, and they will reap what they sow, all right? They're letting you know that someone's going to reap what they sow, especially when I was picking up on someone lying on you. They're going to reap what you sow, and please believe that because the laws of karma is real. Whatever you put out, that energy you put out, you're going to get back. I don't know why people don't believe that. Like whatever you put out, your life's like a mirror of who you are. You're going to get BS back. So this person's going to get some BS, stupid stuff happening back to them. So, and they're going to sit there and cry. Like, it's like you put, you put that energy out there, take it back. All right. All right, Virgo, if you like this reading, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you really like it. And I'll talk to you guys later.